Hey guys, and welcome back to another super fresh video with yours truly, the voice of reason right here on YouTube. So let's just get right into this one, shall we? With a whole bunch of new subscribers to my little channel, I thought what better time to make a viewer Q&A video answering all your burning questions left in recent days. And can I say some of your questions are quite unusual? No judgment, just unusual. Now my channel just passed 5,000 subscribers. Hold your applause. Which is something I don't take for granted and appreciate all to hell. All to hell. And so let me start by saying thank you for supporting me and my channel. And of course, that goes to both new and continuing subscribers. Oh, and if you're watching and haven't yet subscribed, then feel free to push that subscribe button and help this channel make it to, dare I say, 10,000 subscribers. It was just a year ago when I had a whopping 50 subscribers and really no sense of what I wanted to achieve with this channel. And since then, the channel has become the voice of reason of highly charged topics shaped largely by the comments you guys leave for me each time I upload. No matter the topic, the goal is to provide fair and balanced commentary in a respectful manner, minus the slanderous and defamatory statements one can find all too often on a lot of YouTube channels these days. So without further ado, here are your questions. First question comes from Melanie G and part one of her question is, can you play a musical instrument? That would be no. Part two of Melanie G's question is, do you have any hidden talents? Actually, I can cut my own hair. What I see is the opposite of reality. Next question comes from Infinite Ava and she asks, why did you go vegan in the first place? Ava, the biggest reason why I went vegan is for heart health. Next question comes from Ann Simmons and she asks, do you have a fitness routine? Yes, I do. I do weights, yoga, walking, and a bit of running. <laughs> Next question comes from Jill St. John and she asks, do YouTubers make a lot of money? Well, I don't. For me, YouTube is a hobby, not a job. But some YouTubers make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year while those at the very top make millions. Here's a quick way to estimate how much a YouTuber makes. Divide the number of views they get each month by 1,000. And that gives you a pretty good estimate of their monthly check from Google. Now, ad revenue has dropped recently, so that number could be down quite a bit, especially for those that are quite controversial. Actually, I made a video about this recently and I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. Next question comes from Jill Summer and she asks, what do you think of Jake Paul and Team 10? Good morning, Jake Paulers, what's popping, guys? Honestly, I find him and the other Team 10 members quite off-putting. Their energy is way too high, way too egocentric, and way too annoying. I know that's kind of mean, but I doubt anything I have to say about Jake Paul will have any effect on his ever growing career. Next question comes from Take A Hike Mike, and he asks, do you have any good recipe ideas for someone new to veganism? Yes, Mike, I do. I made a video recently profiling my five favorite vegan recipes, along with prep instructions, and I'll also link that video below. Next question comes from Chris T and she asks, do you get upset when people eat meat around you? Absolutely not. I personally ate meat for over 40 years, so judging others for what I myself did for so long would be weird. No judgment to more militant vegans, but not my personal style. Next question comes from Paul Sampras and he asks, would you rather eat meat or have a fingernail pulled off? Paul, great question. I can't stand pain, so I'm gonna have to go with the meat thing. But just a little bit, a little bite, a little teensy weensy. Next question comes from Christian Rock and he or she, he, she asks, how did you think Vegan Gains did in his last debate with no bullshit? Okay, for those of you who don't know, there is a vegan YouTuber called Vegan Gains who is very outspoken and can be, um, how do I put it, very obnoxious. Anyways, he recently debated another YouTuber known as No Bullshit on the topic of whether it's okay to eat meat. My assessment is that Vegan Gains won the debate overall but I think no bullshit earned a point by bringing up the fact that Vegan Gains, a self-proclaimed ethical vegan, bought a dog from a breeder in Europe and flew the animal to Toronto. Now, personally, I have no problem with that, but it's hard to be a moral vanguard 
when you have a skeleton or two in the proverbial closet. I keep thinking about how great Vegan Gaines will be when he's around 40 years of age and a little more refined and nuanced. He's got all the facts and science down to a T, but that coupled with some charm, kindness and life experience will make him a debating powerhouse. He still remains the most relevant ethical male vegan on YouTube today, far more relevant than Durian Ryder. Next question comes from Hey It's Ramon and he asks, do you know if any famous people watch your channel? Well, I highly doubt it. Next question comes from Jill Barber and she asks, do you still watch cartoons? Only on Saturday. Next question comes from Wellington54 and he or she, he, she asks, can you change the oil on your car? Absolutely not. Next question, what foods do you normally buy on a vegan diet? Great question. Check out my grocery haul video that I will link below in case you're interested. Now I'm going to show you all the foods that are vegan and of course all produce is vegan. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Traffic sucks so badly here in Vancouver that even if I wanted to speed, it's not even possible. What do you think of Freely and Harley and the Raw Till 4 cult? Oh wow, you have got to be a newbie to my channel. Take a look. Meanwhile in stupid land... Freely! Freely girl, where are ya? Oh here I am Harley! Here I am! Freely, where did everybody go? It seems like they've abandoned us. Oh look Harles, look yonder! Oh, not quite what we had in mind, but sign him up. Rotel 4 died. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Rotel 4. Well, why did it die? Tell people they can eat as much as they want to. And when they start gaining weight, tell them there's something wrong with their metabolism. Nothing could go wrong there. Not up in here! I'll link that video below as well. What is your favorite yoga pose? Probably a headstand. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? Oh, this is an easy one. There's four of them The Sixth Sense, Fatal Attraction, Ghost and The Hunger. If you've never seen the movie The Hunger with David Bowie, Catherine Deneuve and Set, Susan Sarandon, well, for crying out loud, what are you waiting for? Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Oh, I told you these questions were weird. The bear thing is way too hard to imagine, so by default, I gotta go with the bees. Do you think it's wrong to eat meat? Honestly, I actually do. I predict that in 500 years, they will look back on how we treat animals today and they'll view it as savage and barbaric. What makes you cry? I don't cry very often, but when I do, it's a floodgate. I remember crying really hard three times. Once when my grandmother died, another time when I turned 30, yet 40 and 50 didn't bother me at all. And the third time was in 2009 in New York City, sitting in the audience of the Broadway musical Next to Normal and crying like a little baby. From start to finish, it was a full-on emotional breakdown. Oh man, why am I telling you guys this? See, this is how it starts, right? And soon I'll be eating dinner on the floor of my kitchen, crying into a camera like Trisha Paytas. Would you ever pose nude in a magazine? <laughs> I think that ship sailed a long time ago. What got you into YouTube? Sheer stupidity. Where do you see your channel in five years? Honestly, I find it hard to hold an interest in anything that long, so probably in the YouTube history books. Can you give me some good advice? Never play leapfrog with a unicorn. Ouch. No, seriously, and only because you're asking, never take your thoughts seriously. Do you get strange reactions when people discover your channel? Oh, you have no idea. All right, guys, there's the video for today, so please leave a comment down below. And if you thought the video was the least bit interesting, please consider leaving a like. I do so appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go on over to Instagram and Twitter and start following me today. The links are in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you right back here in a few days' time for another super fresh video.